All right, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to take a boring image like this and turn it into a psychedelic image like this using just a few adjustment layers and blending modes in Photoshop. Let's go check it out. Here we go. All right, so let's talk about how to do this effect. It's pretty simple um, and like most of these effects, there's plenty of ways that you can modify it. It's all based on adjustment layers. I'm gonna show you how to do it with a couple different images. Uh, this is just a photograph I found. In fact, it's a AI photograph. It does not actually a real person that does neither here nor there for this tutorial. I just thought that would be interesting to you. So what I'm gonna do is with this image open, I'm going to go to the adjustment layer icon and I'm going to click on threshold. Now what Threshold does is it turns the image into black and white. And as you can see in our properties panel here for the adjustment, it's showing us a luminosity scale with one slider. And that slider is the threshold, meaning this is, the, this is where black becomes white. So if I slide this a little to the left, you're going to see there's more white in the image and less black. Or if I slide it to the right, there's more black and less white. Remember, on this luminosity scale, on the left is black and on the right is white. So I can move it somewhere like that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a gradient adjustment layer. And this is a layer that just applies a gradient to the entire layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the thumbnail and then I'm going, it's going to pop open the gradient editor. And what I'm going to do is just click on any of these gradients that are in here. It doesn't matter which one. Because what I'm going to do is under gradient type, I'm going to, instead of clicking on solid, I'm going to make this a noise gradient. And what a noise gradient is, is just as the name suggests, it's a noisy gradient using one of three different color models. So RGB or HSB or lab color. RGB uh, will give you the full range of red, green, and blue, um, depending on where these uh, sliders are. So if you want to tighten up that range and say like, oh, a little bit more red, uh, then you can kind of tighten it up there. Um, and then you can drop this down and drop this down. And now you'll have a gradient that's based mostly on red. Um, or you can balance it out and make all sorts of color uh, arrangements as you like. If you leave these all the way expanded left and right for red, green, and blue, you're going to get the full range of color. If you click on randomize, it's just going to cycle through all these different uh, colors, color possibilities, and just generate some really interesting gradient. Uh, you can also click on HSB, which is going to give you a completely different gradient. Uh, you can limit your color range using hue. You can lim limit the saturation as well as the brightness to generate a, a noisy gradient as you like it. And then click on randomize, it'll cycle through all sorts of possibilities. Um, so I'm gonna open it up something like that. I don't know, That's that looks good to me for, for this one. Um, I could randomize it again, something like that. Oh, I like that one, it's a little bit more subtle. If I like it, I can always click on new and that'll set this uh, so I can always come back to it. I don't have to do that, but I just want to let you know how that worked. I'm going to click on OK. And now I'm going to click on OK with the gradient fill. Now I can't see anything, and this is where the magic happens. When I change this from normal to screen, now what happens is that all of the black will accept this color, but all of the white will not accept the color. So now I can apply this really wild looking gradient to her face. Now, if I go back into the gradient fill, I can change the style of gradient. So I can have like a radial gradient. Um, I can change the scale of it if I want. Not so the rings aren't super apparent. And that looks really cool. It's really beautiful, whatever that is. Um, all sorts of possibilities uh, with that. Um, now, the most important thing you need to know is that you always have to have white in the background in order for this to work. Let's take a look at some other image types that you can apply this effect to. I have a still from, a, from an old film noir, The Old Mad House. Um, this isn't set to threshold, but I can still do the same thing with this because this is a high contrast image. 
I can go into my um, layers panel, click on the gradient adjustment layer, create a noise gradient, uh, maybe take the same one and just randomize it some more if I want, or just build something completely different. Uh, maybe I'll build one with RGB and randomize it a couple times to get some pretty interesting colors. Oh, I like that blue one, but I just skipped over it. Yeah, something like that. Click, click on OK. I'll leave this as, uh, maybe I'll put this on an angle, something like that. Maybe scale it up a little bit. There we go. And then again, change this to screen. And now you can apply that same process to this. Now, of course, you could throw a threshold adjustment on here. And now you can get that full kind of threshold uh, psychedelic poster effect. Um, this works really well for like old ads. There's an old ad that I found. Again, I can just take the gradient, plop it on top, change the kind of gradient that it is, and change this to screen. And now I get some really interesting effects. Finally, if uh, you've made like a bitmap type image, uh, like I did with another one of these AI portraits, I ran it through the bitmap uh, image mode. Um, I need to get it out of there. So I'm going to go to the image menu mode and go to grayscale and then image mode and go to RGB color. Now I can do the same thing. Now this is essentially a threshold image because there's just black and white information. So I'll make a gradient adjustment layer. Again, I'll go into here. Maybe I'll play around with uh, the type of gradient it is, make some different adjustments in here randomize it. Here we go with this blue. Maybe I'll save that one this time. And let's try like a diamond. We'll scale it up and click on OK and apply this as a screen. And now I get some really interesting effects. Maybe this one needs something a little bit darker. So I'll just go into the gradient uh, and play around with trying to get some darker colors. And now you can see that I'm just doing it live right on the image. Right. Let's maybe adjust this all down to the darker colors. There we go. And now I get some really interesting textures that way. Now, the great thing about this is that you can use any image as well. You don't, you're not even stuck with a gradient. What I can do is uh, take one of my images. I'll take her, for instance. I'm going to turn off the gradient fill. I'm going to place in an image uh, that I found of, let's say, outer space. Uh, scale it up so it kind of covers the entire image. Double click on that, kind of position it where I want, something like that, and then change the blend mode here to screen. And now I have that image applied to all the black. So there's endless possibilities. What you use it for is completely up to you. I thought it would just be interesting uh, for my viewers just to, just to play around with something new. All right, that's it. Make sure to subscribe and like, and we'll see you in the next video.